Hello, it's Belinda, sharing stories and memories about my years in the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. Thanks for watching. So I call this segment Beginnings, and you probably can guess what it's about, my musical background, and my auditioning price, um, my auditioning process into the choir. My mother, who's 92, just told me the other day about a little story she remembered. We were sitting in church singing the opening song, and I was probably about four or five years old. And she said, I suddenly just started belting out, just started singing. And she said, I didn't really know what I was singing. It wasn't really on pitch, but it just took her by surprise. And I just, I love that little story. But I did start singing at a young age, joined my ward choir as a pretty young person. I studied piano beginning at about age eight for 10 years. And I have to say, I think I made it pretty easy for my mom because I loved piano and I would practice and practice and try to please my teachers. And I don't think my mother ever had to remind me. So I really enjoyed um, studying piano uh, up to the university level. And I, um, I had some wonderful musical experiences as a young person. I grew up in the Oakland Bay Area of California and there was a wonderful temple pageant that was performed every year. And I had the opportunity to be a part of that balcony chorus, singing the beautiful uh, music that accompanied that wonderful pageant about the restoration of the gospel. And for any of you that might know the temple pageant, we have our favorite songs such as Who Am I? and Climb the Mountain of Faith. But those made such an impression upon me as a young person. And I eventually moved to Logan, Utah and finished high school there and was just amazed at the musical programs at the high school because my high school in California didn't offer these kind of things. So here were these wonderful opportunities to be in choirs and uh, swing choirs and such, such as that. And I just had the time of my life. I also eventually became a member of the Mormon Youth Chorus, which rehearsed and performed in the Tabernacle on Temple Square. And I think that was when I got an inkling in my mind that I, that I wanted to be a part of the Tabernacle Choir someday. And I actually felt like I always would. I didn't really question whether I would or not. I just knew that I would be a part of it. So the Mormon Youth Chorus was a, a good training ground. And then as I uh, got married and had a family, I found opportunities to be part of uh, the Baroque Ensemble in Boise. No. I got to be part of some musical groups such as the Master Chorale in Boise, Idaho, and also the Baroque Ensemble with Martha Sargent in Provo. And those were really good training opportunities. As you can imagine, I just loved, just loved the choral work and loved to sing. And it was just a part of my soul. So the time came when I, I realized maybe I should think about auditioning for the Tabernacle Choir. And it became cemented in my mind when I was watching one Sunday morning the music and the spoken word broadcast. And there was a new face on the conductor's podium. And I just took a second look and just thought, I know that person. And it was Craig Jessup. And I, I didn't know how I knew him, but I felt like it was kind of a call to me to, to begin the auditioning process. And 
it was quite, it's quite an extensive process. It begins with recording a CD, back then it was a cassette tape, of your voice. So this initial audition is sending in this recording of your voice, singing a, a hymn of your choice, and then waiting to see if they want to talk to you further. So I waited for a, a couple of weeks, I believe. And then I received a letter that I saved my letters. They're beautiful. That invited me to come in and take a skills assessment test. And so they also recommended a, a good book to review music theory and and those skills. And so I studied pretty hard and I went in, it looks like it was on April 17th, 2001 and got my scores. The test was pretty intensive. It was a couple of hours long and it just shows your strengths and your weaknesses. But thankfully, I passed that fine. And then I was invited to come in for an in-person audition. And that was in front of the conductors, Mac Wilberg and Craig Jessup. So I actually didn't feel all that nervous. I really didn't. I felt really confident. But here's the interesting story. When I walked into that office and Craig Jessup greeted me, he looked at me and he said, oh, you've been in before. And I said, no, I haven't. And I just feel like that was a little um, tender mercy that maybe he recognized me too. This recognition of one another, I felt was a sim sign that we, we knew each other before this life because I came to realize through my choir service that I truly was prepared for this work before my life on earth, before I was born, because I know we did have an existence in the pre-mortal realms of heaven where we lived with our heavenly father and we were in his presence and felt of his glorious love and were eager to come to earth and receive a body and do our part to learn and experience earth life. And I know that my preparation in music began there and that I was prepared to sing praises to my heavenly father on earth. But we were given a piece to prepare and sing before the conductors, a pretty challenging piece. And we just, I would just sing it in the alto part and accompanied by a pianist. And then they handed me a piece of sheet music and asked me to sing my part. And it was a piece of pretty obscure music that I had never seen before. And that was their intention because it's really important that they know what your, your uh, sight singing skills are, how easily you can sing a piece that you've never uh, heard, seen before or studied. So uh, that was a little difficult. And then they like to uh, test your range a little bit and you also prepare a hymn. I think I prepared the hymn, I Need Thee Every Hour. And then I later found out that that was the most selected hymn of auditioners. And probably because of the message of the, of the song to help with nerves. So that was a great experience. And I think it was about two weeks later that I received this letter 
you are hereby called to membership in the Tabernacle Choir in the second alto section. And just some other interesting things it says. Um, With relation to the special nature of this calling, we hope that you will be especially careful to maintain your good health and the ability to perform well and consistently. In addition, we hope that you will take the opportunity now and often to discuss this calling with your family and with your bishop. Their support and help will be of great value to you. You will be expected to identify yourself in your ward with participation in as many activities as possible. Um, Continuing in visiting teaching and temple work and, and so forth. But the choir calling did become my primary calling. And I, I did do what I could when I was asked. Uh, but it was so demanding time-wise. Then, after these um, steps, these auditioning steps, which so far took about six months, I was invited to be part of the corral on Temple Square. And at this time, Mac Wilberg was in charge of the corral, as he was the assistant conductor at the time. And I couldn't ask for a better teacher, a better uh, mentor than Mac Wilberg. He was just marvelous. He's a, he's a real genius. But he uh, led us in performing the work of Handel called Saul. And I, I actually still have the program here. Oh, it's actually um, just a flyer. But that we performed in the assembly hall on Temple Square. And the Temple Square Chorale is a smaller group. It's all the new people coming in. And then they also ask for volunteers from the choir itself that would like to participate. And and they they came as well. And I actually continued to participate in the, the chorale uh, for a few years after I became part of the actual choir because it was so enjoyable to work with Mac Wilberg. I remembered singing the um, the Bach B minor mass, which I had never learned before and just enjoyed that so much. The time came after about nine months that we were inducted into the choir itself and I saved my program from my first music in the spoken word performance in the tabernacle. And we actually memorized portions of these pieces. And the and Mac actually had us sing as a chorale a verse on the broadcast. So that was a little intimidating where we were highlighted alone. And I'll never forget this piece that I still have memorized. It's called Canticle of Faithfulness. And there's some phrases in there that just really are part of my service in the choir. My song forever shall record the tender mercies of the Lord. Thy faithfulness shall I proclaim and every age shall know thy name. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me.